Remember a while back, I was in the market to buy some beds for the house, and I went to a local retailer here by the name of Cons in, in Houston, and uh, uh, so I'm looking at all the different beds, and they, they said, well, would you like a twin, or would you like a regular size, or would you like a queen size or a king size? And I said, well, tell me the price, and they said, well, it's the same price. And I said, it's the same price for a king, uh, or I could get a regular, or I could even get a twin, and it's all the same price. And he said, yes, it is. He said, what size would you like? And I said, well, I said, if it's the same price, I would like a king. And we got to talking, and I said, why would anybody ever want to get a queen or a regular or a twin uh, if you're paying the price of a king. And he said, most people do. Most people get the smaller size. Well, how about for your life? Do you have king size dreams? Or do you have queen size dreams? Or regular size dreams? Or even the, the smallest possible dream because you wouldn't want to disappoint yourself. I've had a lot of people say that to me. I don't want to dream too big. I don't want to think uh, that God can do something too big because I don't want to be disappointed. My friend, I want you to have great expectations about your life. I want you to expect your future to be bright. I want you to expect a miracle. Here's what it says in Proverbs 13, verse 12. It says, a dream fulfilled is a tree of life. It is more than one branch. It is a, a strong trunk and then constant new life coming out that will lead you to new things that you didn't even dream of in the beginning. If you pour your heart into your work or any other enterprise, you can achieve dreams that others may think is impossible. Are you willing, beginning right now, to dream only king-size dreams? You're watching this to build your faith. Well, now it's put your faith on the line time. Do you believe in king size miracles coming into your life? Are you willing then to work diligently, not just to sit back and wait for God to do it? It doesn't work that way. To make the dreams come true. The Apostle Paul said this, I can do all things, not some things, all things, through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4, verse 13. Most of us, though, even the most faithful of us, often live far below our potential. I would say that most people do, and it is something that I believe is not following God's will. We have to get outside of our comfort zone so many times to really follow God. We tend as a human being to take half measures. We dream small dreams and we waste precious time and we waste precious energy on the distractions of the world. But God has better plans for you and for me. Our Creator intends for us to live in a faithful way, in a hopeful way, in a courageous way, and resulting in an abundant way. God knows that with God's help, we're capable of unbelievably great things. And God has great expectations of us. Well, do we? have great expectations of ourselves. I pray that we do. 
And I pray that we king size all of our dreams, that we live with a king size faith, a king size hope, a king size ability, knowing that as God comes through, we will live a king size life.